Alright guys, what's up and welcome to the show. So today I'm actually going to talk about, I know there's a, a few uh, other YouTube videos on this exact same thing, but I figured I'd talk a little bit about it myself on my channel. And that is why people actually dull their throwing blades. Because a lot of people actually even ask me, oh, are your throwing blades sharp? Are your throwing knives sharp? Are your throwing knives sharp? You actually don't need a sharp throwing knife. A lot of people, what they do, like a lot of um, competitors and serious knife throwing um, people, what they do is they actually take a, a file or like a Dremel tool and they'll actually purposely dull their blade uh, because it's actually like the only way the only reason you need a sharp knife is to actually cut stuff slice stuff uh, When you actually throw you're not actually cutting into your object You're actually just going straight in to the object So you're not actually cutting so all you really need for a throwing knife or a throwing object is just a pointy blade a lot of professionals like I said they, they actually dull their uh, throwing blades and then just go for you know good points because that's all you actually need is just a point on it you don't actually need the sharpness uh, of it because you're not cutting into the wood you're actually just piercing into the wood so yeah um, a lot of people always ask me oh, are they sharp are they sharp it doesn't matter if your throwing knives are sharp you don't need them to be sharp you just need a decent point that's why a lot of people they throw um, throwing spikes uh, as well as just like they throw pliers, stuff like this, uh, because that's all you need. You just need a, a pointed object. You don't actually need uh, anything that's actually sharp. Even a lot of people, they um, they even know, like when they make their own uh, throwing knives and stuff, they actually don't even sharpen it. They just, as long as you have that point, that's all you need uh, to throw with. So yeah, the, um, you don't need to throw sharpen your throwing blades. I don't know why you would. People for some reason think they stick better. They don't. Um, a lot of people actually do this because of the simple fact that like they, like when you do half spin throws, you, you actually grab it by the blade and you throw it by the blade. So you don't want it to be sharp because like when you're actually gonna grab it by that, this is how you would actually grab it. So you're gonna cut yourself when you actually throw it so you don't actually want to cut yourself or anything like that so again when you're doing half spin throws you're going to throw it by the blade and you don't want to actually cut yourself when you're throwing it by your blade you want that actual dull blade you just want to make sure you have a good point on the end of that you actually don't want it to be uh sharp because like i said you know you don't cut yourself on the half uh, half spin throws and whatnot but yeah there you go so you don't actually want a sharpened um, knife. You would just want to take like a file or a Dremel tool or something and just skim that blade down. And yeah, all you need is just that point. And it's the only thing that, like I said, sticks into that object or that piece of wood or whatever you're throwing at is the point. It doesn't actually cut into it. You know what I mean? Like you're not actually cutting into it or slicing into it anyway. And now you don't want to use your throwing knives in that type of manner anyway. So anyway, all you need is a point on the thing. You don't actually need them to be sharp. So that's my two cents, my little video. Like, comment, subscribe.